A 35-year-old who raped a teenage girl left her with a sexually transmitted disease which may affect her for life. Alan Naylor attacked the girl and then ignored her continued pleas for him to stop. Naylor, of Minster, Thanet, Kent, has been given a 13-and-a-half-year jail sentence for the shocking assaults with a further four years on license when he is released. Judge James O'Mahony told him, Your offences are as grave as grave can be. Canterbury Crown Court heard how the victim had been drinking vodka shots before she was attacked by Naylor. Prosecutor Bridget Todd told how the woman had gone to sleep and woke up during the attack, shouting, What are you doing? Naylor was jailed at Canterbury Crown Court, image, PA, she said Naylor, who had been drinking and taking drugs, ignored her cries to stop and then refused to help when she began a desperate search for her phone. The distressed victim then turned to a passerby and borrowed a mobile to raise the alarm. But her ordeal did not end there, as she then had to endure a humiliating medical procedure when the STD was diagnosed. Mustard said the attack had left the victim with serious psychological problems and had even made her suicidal. John Barker, defending, said Naylor, who admitted to rape charges, had expressed remorse and insight into his offending and was left feeling disgusted at himself. He hates to think how this has affected the victim and he is absolutely devastated, he added. The girl has felt suicidal since the attack, image, Getty, the judge said Naylor had also been drunk and was a heavy user of drugs. He gave him a 13 and a half year immediate jail sentence and ordered him serve another four years on license when he is released. Judge O'Mahony commended the investigating officer DC Jenny Brightman for her devotion to her duties in ensuring the production of a medical report on the victim, which was a very significant factor in this case. After the sentencing, an NSPCC spokesman said, Naylor clearly poses an extremely serious risk and it is right that he is now behind bars. Subjected his victim to a horrific, life-changing ordeal that will inevitably have long-lasting effects. Abuse ruins childhoods and we hope she is now receiving all possible support to rebuild and move forward with her life.